<clears throat> Let's get it. Let's fucking go. Let's get it. Man, the chroma key is so off. Let me see if I can just quickly alter that. Alright, let's see. Mm. Maybe washing out the color a bit will help. I'll try altering smoothness. Doesn't seem to work. I think I honestly prefer that. Yeah. I mean, they'll do. That will do, pig. <clears throat> I'm gonna, let's let's. The aim of this uh, stream is to get this achievement, basically. <clears throat> so, no more effing around. Not that we were effing around before. It's just like we, we got to get it done, son. We got to get it done. Sorry, I'm just getting everything all nice and set up. Oops. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm getting everything where I needed to to be seen. It's a bit easier when um playing retro because um if I'm playing Steam, the management of the stream becomes a little bit more hairy because it's not so easy to switch between uh, monitors. But I think it's the last one, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And we'll just uh, double check what each character has on them. I'd really like to get the disc too, but this achievement it doesn't fuck around. As you can see, I've got like um equipment that's like double AP raising, so. There we are. Now, I believe um, each battle with um, um, the sea worm, so we're grinding sea worms basically. So, and let me work this out in the calculator. And let's say, I think the other one's nine, 19, yeah. yeah. All right, so 19,000 divided by 400. Because the sea worm gives 200, and with the double AP equipment, take up to 400. It would take uh, 48 battles. So the calculator says 47.5, so that basically means 48 battles. Okay, so I'm hoping that this is like um, an hour and a half of grinding. Uh, we're not going to be doing fast for any nonsense like that, so... Yeah. We'll also be using the opportunity to uh, level up um, some of the other stuff, too. So the thing is, we need an ice to make this uh, go a little bit smooth. So I'm wondering if we should have like um, yeah, we'll just put like an ice here because we we need to kind of level up um, an ice and don't don't worry, it, it makes sense. Don't worry too much. Oh, and um, what equipment we got on them? Okay. Because this thing inflicts darkness, so we want to get rid of darkness. Okay, darkness, darkness. Yeah, cool. I'm not sure how badly darkness affects um, the ability to land physical attacks in Final Fantasy VII. I haven't really, I don't really research that kind of stuff, but um, yeah. <clears throat> if I had to, I will, but I mean, I don't, so. And we're just defeating these things and stealing from them. Nice. Now, I know that there's like a, a mod for the, um, the PC version to change it to 60 frames per second for the battles 
I mean, I think this is honestly perfectly fine. It's what I grew up with and it feels right, man. It's not too it's not too excruciating for me. And also, it doesn't hurt that this thing drops like 5,000 gil every time, so... This is quite a lucrative enemy. Um, there's also like a, um... Oh, what, I, I'm not even sure what it's called, like Slider or something. And you can encounter them in groups of two or three. And I'm just like... They're, they're more difficult to kill, and... They do... You can steal X potions from them, so that's, I guess, kind of good, but... I can also steal them from the, um, the, I think it's called Strange Bug in Wutai, so it doesn't make sense. And this thing is weak to ice, so that's why we keep messing it up with uh, ice. I'm also going to look up um, something. Enemy list, that's what I need, I think. Gotta have that open. Huh, I'm on full autopilot. Right, right, there, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Seal up. And like I said before, in every every time I play this game, the music by Nobuo Uematsu is, um, well, legendary. Legendary. Enough said. This is like the first real opportunity he had to, like, kind of show off. Because, you know, um, you can only do so much with, um, with the SNES sound chip. But I mean, with, um, PlayStation, you had, uh, full access to, like, I'm not sure of the technology, but, like, I'm guessing, like, as good as possible with CD technology. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it was, it was far better and far more advanced than what you could do with the SNES, so it really kind of showed off his skills. And I do be loving stealing these um, dragon scales. It's like um, Aqualung. It's pretty awesome. Um, pretty awesome drop. No darkness for me. Thank you. The only thing is, um, with Barrett, it's not easy to level up his um, limit breaks at the moment because we're just grinding the one enemy. But you know, it's not priority. It's not priority to get the limit breaks for him. Oh, and we bought the um, Costa del Sol um, villa in the last stream, so that shit's mine now. And that was only possible by grinding this this enemy. Just getting all of the um all of the money from it. Um and as you can see limit breaks. So we got um Great Gospel in the last one. Yeah, I mean it's not gonna be tough to get Omni Slash, it's just going to be tedious, and we're going to be doing it on disc 2. I'm not doing it on disc 1, fuck that. There's no real point. There's no real point.
Mm. Dragon Scales, thank you. As you can see now, with it at level 4, with the two MP pluses, we're not going to be putting them on Eris. We have to put them on Sid. Because Sid is the last character to be picked up. And um, he has, by default, eight slots. Where if we tried with Vincent, he would have, um, I think, seven. So, for this achievement, we want Cloud, Eris, and uh, Sid. You might be wondering, like, shouldn't I be, um, shouldn't I be using Sid for this? And the reason why I'm not is because, um, one of his weapons, we haven't, for Sid's weapons, are they shown all here? Yeah, he doesn't have an, a weapon yet that has double AP, uh, raising stuff, so... I'm kind of like, kind of restricting his use a little bit. And maybe you might say, well, what about um, Red 13 then? And I mean, we, we did use him for a little bit. I'm just rotating them around. Give me your scalies. Yo, what up? It's life. Hey man, I hope all the weight is off your shoulders and they're respecting your departure. Yep, yep. You see, like, for all the whinging that I do to you guys, or to you, on stream, like, I keep it very polite. So, I don't like to burn bridges that way, and I still think at the end of the, the, the day, if I needed um, a reference, I can still get it. Because I'm leaving in, you know... I would have streamed yesterday, but, um, yeah. Yeah. So, what I've been doing is, I've been working on a document. Um, and the document is basically detailing every sort of function that I do. Um, so, it can be referenced by anyone. The point being, if they decided to go down, like, the route of getting, um, interns or very young people to do this job you know as, as a way to like level up or to get into the workforce but they could do it so in that in that sense like my company um they can save a lot of money that way and they don't really need to um supervise my replacements that much but they will at least have like guidance as to what to do so i'm i'm giving them a gift this is something that I didn't need to do. I could have just said, here's my two weeks. I'm leaving. Figure it out. Um, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to leave them better off. And that's what I've always done with all my jobs. I try to leave them in a better place than what it was when I left. Because it reflects well on me when I do that. So, yeah. Well, I don't know about five years later, but um, I am definitely going to be revamping the, um, the CV. For sure. Like, I've been, I've been actually putting it off a little bit. Because it is like, a, it's a task. But, uh, it's got me good. Hope you're well, life. Oh yeah. Well, in terms of that, um, with this job, I um recorded every task that I did on a piece of paper. Oh well, in in pads. I put down the the date, the task, who requested it, da 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 da. da. So, it should be an easy task of um, figuring out what the fuck I did. Um, but yeah. You're reasonable, yep. Reasonable is better than bad. This uh, achievement is not reasonable, but um, 
Yeah. We're keeping it reasonably calm here. So we're gonna level up these bad boys. Oh, they're getting there. They're getting there. In the last stream, I also bought the um, Costa del Sol Villa, which costs like um, 300,000 gil. And it was all thanks to grinding this particular monster. So, like, when it comes to grinding, like, I'm cool with grinding in this area. It's a, it's been a pleasant experience. Mutually beneficial, handshakes all around. Ice cream for everyone. By the way, life, you should enter the, um, enter my giveaway. My last day is Friday. Big shot. I, I just noticed that I dropped frames and I'm like, god damn it. Like I, I deliberately dropped the um the bitrate from four thousand to three thousand seven hundred fifty. Well I should try to drop your call next week and finally through yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably the best time. Cause I'll be, you know well, I won't be working, so <laughs> I'll be looking for work, but I will be at home. My ideal would be working from home, doing um, IT, working towards system admin. So, that's the goal, that's the dream. I've also got to do my tax return soon. That's fun. Yeah. It's it's only when like um I get royally effed in the A. Like there was one stream where I um I lost like uh, what uh, seventy thousand over the course of a ten hour stream. Yeah. I'm just concerned at how like will the vod turn out okay. If it turns out that like, okay, a little bit of drop frames here and there, it doesn't mess up the VOD, then I'll, I'll probably just shut up about it. Ooh! So I already got that achievement um, several streams ago, but... Whenever you um, start up a, a, new session, a new session of a game and do an achievement, like, it'll pop again and again. But the only one that'll stick is the, the first time you did it, so... Just checking to see if I should switch out something. Okay, we need to switch out you. Hmm. What one did I put away? I feel like I put one away. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. I honestly, it, I think it's um a multi-step thing, like with most things. Like it could be VPN. It could be sudden loss of connection between my connection and Twitch. It could be the bitrate that I'm streaming at. Um, you know, it's it's like a host of things that it could be, but I'm just I'm just trying to pick away at it to try and you know see if I can. I know, just miraculously unfuck it. Oh, we'll, we'll see. Like usually, what happens is um, there's like maybe a, a um a second or two where it will just like lag or drop out and it is tolerable like you say but you know it 
It's one of those things that requires research and time, and I'm like, eh, do I really want to? Do I really want to? Wait, I know you are a heavy Linux user, but do you stream off Linux too, or is this Windows? Nope, this is Linux, baby. Manjaro all the way. I don't think I've even opened up my Windows partition for like, um... Uh, about three or four months now. The only reason why I would open up uh, Windows is if like I had a sudden hankering to play Skyrim. But now, I believe they've fixed up the audio issues with the, um... The anniversary edition so I mean what's what's the point of opening up uh, Windows you know pretty much pretty much that they're, they're getting like extremely good with compatibility through the um the proton compatibility layer and the Vulcan shaders like it's getting sick man it's to the point where it's like you know hey any Windows game can be played on Linux Maybe there's like a slight visual bug, but yeah, like um, it's good. And of course, retro plays um, you know, super bly. So we is happy. The only thing is, that most streaming tools are still locked to Windows, and yeah, that's honestly not the best for me. Once I figure out virtual machines, that might be a different story, but... I'm using Linux for coding through WSL2. I don't know what it is. But I really... Uh, yeah. But I realize if I want this same machine to last longer, I'll need to partition or wipe for Linux. Why does this worm have fucking dragon scales? That's what I want to know. Don't understand it. I am getting a pile of money. It's making me very happy. I have a pile of money in real life as well. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Hmm. Might research that later. Yes. I firmly believe that Linux is the future. Because people are going to get... Um, it's a an advanced, no fuss virtualization of Linux. Okay. I just firmly believe that it's the future. Um, at first I thought, you know, it's for hobbyists only, and it's just too annoying. But, um... In recent years, it's shown us, like, this is legit. Not only that, it's free. There's no telemetry to worry about. Um... And you're not going to eventually be forced into a situation where it's um, a yearly or pay monthly for the privilege of having an operating system. So that's that's where Windows is heading. And I, I got off on that train. Thankfully, I got off early enough. And now I'm like, I'm happy with Linux. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with Linux. Shit just works. And that's where I think everyone's going to eventually go. Companies included. Um, big companies have already kind of, you know, they, they see what's happening. They don't want to be paying for, like, you know, licensing fees for a thousand computers every year. Like, no. They're, they're not into that shit. They'll just say, okay, it's time to hop off. Let's um, get a couple of experts to set up uh, Linux-based uh, systems for us. And it's going to be all good. That is the future, baby, and I want to be on that train.
and Barrett City's limit. Big shotter. Almost back at a hundred thousand. This grind is disgust disgusting, and I love it. Um, I'm just thinking. We kind of need to restore in here. Um. All right. Just wondering. And what can be sacrificed? Maybe this one? Oh look, I'll just sacrifice that. We need a restore. Um, I'm not on Barrett. Yeah, that's good. That's it. Do some actual work, Cloud. You guys should just camp. I should, but that'd be a waste of MP. Like, one tent is 500 gil. I'm trying to extract maximum utility out of what I've got. Did you see the stat that I dropped casually in the Discord? That I'd, um, worked something like 1500 hours? I thought, hmm makes you think makes you think I think I'll just attack him it, it takes slightly longer but like it's only very slightly longer Yes, and then your reference to Japanese study really, really depressed me. I mean, but then again, you and I have both been studying Japanese, um, you know, casually or whatever, but we have been studying it for years. So that does add up. That does count. As someone with maybe 500 kanji, I just wanted to end... <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Don't do that. No, no, no. It's not that bad. It's honestly not that big of a deal, um, unless you really want to use Japanese for your job, then really it's um, just a hobby, really. And so if it's just a hobby, I mean, you can, with that mindset, you can um, get to a greater height, I think. I think a lot of people, I think myself in the beginning, were like, oh no, no, it's, it's like... Uh, be all and end all. I've got it. I've got to get this goal by you know year two. Otherwise, I'm dumb. It's like no, no. Shit's hard. So yeah. Give me your scales. I am joking, sort of. But I think the difference is... good. I think the difference is if you go out and use it every day. It is not just work. Um, book work, you will have a fantastic time. Yeah, 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 I agree. Like, um... If it's not just for work, but like you're traveling and you use it, um... with IRL friends and stuff. Or you use it to, to um, get a greater understanding of, um, their culture or... their pop culture, like anime and... And uh, their TV and all that. Yeah, it's good like that. Just see, so you know, the, the um, the whole like. If it, it feels like uh, language learning, especially Japanese language learning, is like a pressure cooker, and it's like, it ain't that. It ain't that bad, bro. You you don't need to learn it in like two years, and you don't need to compare yourself to people that say, oh well, I did this in one and a half years. All I had to do was live like a hermit. 
and listen only to Japanese. And now I can, I've forgotten like <laughs> one third of my English. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that was a sacrifice, wasn't it? So study is not work. Study is a, a pleasure and a passion. Yes, yes, yes. People who complain about Japanese uh, language study being a hardship have it all wrong. They don't even want to learn Japanese because anime or Japanese girls. Mm -hmm. The humble mango f uh, harvester. Yes. No, no, um, what is it? Forager. Humble mango foragers. Then again, the, you know, there's also like very big mum, uh, manga fans as well. And of course, Japanese video games that don't get translated. So, but I, I find that that's like less and less of a thing. I feel like um, Japanese video games, especially in like the Western world, they're not as sought after. They're not as like, we don't care as much. Like we've already got good shit coming our way. So... Like, when it was just consoles, and when PC gaming wasn't really super big. Like, yeah, it was like, top of the world, as it should be. Because Nintendo, it comes from, you know, Japan. Sony, Japan. Um, PC Engine was NEC, Japan. Like, all the top video game producers were based in Japan. And, you know, Westerners got the, the scraps, like, a year later, if they decide to, um, translate it. But, um...